Victoria's paramedics have been issued with a statewide list of no-go zones to keep them away from potential attackers, with some locations banned unless there's a police escort. Tonight, Seven News can exclusively reveal the list obtained under freedom of information laws. Without warning, this ambulance worker was punched by a patient as she tried to do her job, help the sick reach hospital. Paramedics training prepares them to meet any challenge, but even after 12 years in the job, there are some things you just can't prepare for. A patient uh, told me she had a knife in her bag and she wanted to stab me. Uh, thankfully, I was able to talk her out of that and she gave me the knife. Veteran paramedic Paul Judd is still off work more than two years after a pair of drunken women attacked him at Reservoir. They walked free from court last week. Attacks and threats on the job are now so commonplace, many paramedics no longer bother reporting them, something their employer and their union are trying to change. And while Parliament scrambles to enact new, tougher laws, Ambulance Victoria has put together a list of no-go zones for its staff. It names more than 200 addresses where paramedics are officially warned their safety could be at risk. The worst areas, Capel Sound, formerly Rosebud West, Hastings, Moey, Berwick, Hampton Park, Muralbark, Coburg, Shepparton and Mildura. We just don't know. We walk into volatile situations not knowing what's behind that door. There are half a dozen locations with homes where paramedics are ordered not to go in without police by their sides. Again, Capel Sound, Wheelers Hill, Northcote, Faulkner, Dimboola and Mount Beauty. Both the ambulance service and ourselves have given direction to the paramedics that if they're in doubt then get out, don't stay there, don't stay there to be abused, sworn at, spat at, assaulted, um, don't put themselves at risk. Dean Felton, 7 News.